Hi everyone, it's Leanne with another lovely art tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this hairstyle look on Cara Delevingne. So to get started, you're going to want to draw your outline of hair with a light pencil and you want to focus on the clumps and sections of hair and the direction the hair is flowing in. So in this picture you can see the waves and which direction they're going in and the different clumps here that we're going to focus on. Also paying attention to the shadows of the hair and the highlights. So I'm going to start off the first layer with a very light graphite pencil. This one in particular is a 3H. I chose 3H because this set I'm using is the Conte et Paris set and it's quite a darker set of graphite. I found the 3H to be equivalent to an H in a normal set of graphite pencils. So I'm just going to use that 3H to first um, block in some of those sections of hair using very light handed strokes and just going in the general direction of the hair flow according to my reference photo. Next, I'm gonna use a soft, dry filbert paintbrush to gently blend in the strokes that I've just laid down. This technique will help to soften the lines without actually blending them away. Next, I'm gonna go in with a slightly darker shade of pencil. This one is an HB. And I'm gonna go in over some of those lines and focus on some of those areas where it is a bit darker and really focusing on the areas of shadow. Be sure to pay attention to the direction and flow of the hair. Refer back to your reference photo if you need to. And also keep in mind the highlights. You wanna make sure you keep those areas nice and light. Don't worry about drawing every single strand of hair. You just want to have a few strands here and there again to show the direction and flow of the hair and you want to keep your pencil strokes nice and light. You don't want really dark harsh lines. And when you're happy with that layer, again go through with that dry filbert paintbrush and just blend out those lines again, making them nice and smooth. One thing I do want to take note is when you do blend over the darkest areas of the shadow, you will pick up a lot of graphite on your paintbrush. So you might need to just brush it off on a piece of paper um, just to make sure you're not muddying up those highlights with your, with your brush as you're blending. Next, I'm gonna go in using my mechanical pencil. It's a 0.5 millimeter with 4B lead in it. I like using this to gradually darken the areas of shadow and to add more defined hair-like strokes to the drawing. As you're drawing the hair, you may find that you darken some areas that you don't want to be so dark. So you might just want to take a very fine tip, um, like mono, Tombow Mono Eraser, and just erase some of those areas, keeping them light. Um, so it's not so difficult to lighten in the end. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and use my brush to blend out that layer. Next, I'm gonna go in using my black pencil. This one here is the Sedler Mars Lumograph Black in 6B. I love using this pencil to add the darkest darks. You can use 8B as well, but I find 6B does the job well. So I'm gonna go in over those darkest areas of shadow right now with the black pencil, and then also some of the areas in the hair where there's a few strokes of darkness. It really emphasizes the shadow and gives the hair an illusion of form. Another tip while drawing hair is to really keep your pencils sharp at all times. When you blend this layer, make sure you keep a really light hand on that brush, being careful not to muddy up the lighter areas of highlight with your brush. After blending out that layer, I'm just gonna take my mechanical pencil again with the 4B lead in it, and I'm just gonna emphasize some of those hair strokes. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm going to take that 3H pencil again, nice and sharp, and I'm going to go over a little bit of the highlighted area to give nice fine lines to it to make it look so it's not just one clump of whiteness. Give it a little bit of form, a little dimension. I then used a brush and just blended that out smoothly and added a little bit more darker areas with my 4B pencil. I love using my Tombow Mono Zero Eraser for highlights, and in order to get a nice fine tip, I just take my X-Acto knife and cut off a bevel shape on it. So with the Tombow Mono Zero Eraser, I'm just gonna go over the lightest areas of highlight and just do some hair-like strokes with it, removing any graphite to just really brighten up the area. Another tip is you can use an electric eraser, um, to, such as this one. I like to use sandpaper just to sand down the point to a nice clean edge like that. And then I use it for any really hard to get um, highlighted areas where I put down maybe a little bit too much graphite and it's difficult to remove with an era a normal eraser. The electric eraser can really bring out the whites. It's also great for using in the eye for highlights in the eye as well. For the last stages of drawing the hair, it's really important to make sure you're getting those little flyaway strands. Hair always has some random flyaways and it really makes it realistic when you add these important details. So in this case, I'm using my Tombow eraser again with a nice clean, sharp edge to it to get those nice flyaway hairs. I also go in using my mechanical pencil and my black pencil to add some flyaway hairs on her neck. As you add flyaway hairs with your eraser, you may accidentally notice that the hair strand is maybe a bit too thick um, than you like. So you can always just touch it up a little bit with a very light pencil, being careful um, just to make the line look a little bit thinner. For any areas that you can't lift graphite with an eraser or an electric eraser, I love using the Uni Posca white paint marker. It's an excellent way to just add a little bit of highlight in those areas of darkness. So even in the eye, I've used this, but it just adds a few flyaway strands. Um, just be really careful, practice on some paper first before you try it on your drawing, just to get the hang of it. So that's it for this tutorial, you guys. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Either send me a direct message or comment below. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye now.